we're, of course, very proud uh, to be able to launch another weapon against this uh, terrible pandemic uh, for the world. It's actually the 10th uh, diagnostic solutions that, uh, that we're launching. Now, with this test, um, this is an antigen test. We'll be able to detect the, the protein of the virus. And uh, with that test, uh, we also uh, included patients that were asymptomatic. So we didn't only include patients that were symptomatic. Um, and this is, uh, tells you a little bit the, the information also about the sensitivity of the test, because uh, to detect symptomatic patients, um, it's easier because they usually have a higher viral load than those that, uh, that have asymptomatic uh, or have no symptoms. So it's one about the, the amount uh, of patients we've actually tested. We have tested uh, four times more. Uh, than, than what you've heard earlier about uh, one of our competitors. Um, but also we have included asymptomatic patients in the clinical studies. Thomas, can you give us any insight on price? Abbott said they're going to be launching their test at $5 a test. What about you? So uh, throughout the, the pandemic, we have actually never commented on price uh, publicly. What we've always said is that we do fair and ethical pricing globally. So you can imagine that it's in the same uh, ballpark um, in terms of pricing. Um, but we've always said we only make one global price because uh, we also want to make sure that, you know, there's no competition between countries. We want to serve all countries equally at uh, prices that are uh, would be normal also pre-pandemic time. So we tried to find a, a very ethical solution here. And I think we've done it very well also with other tools that we have launched in, in a very uh, good and fair pricing. In terms of geographic rollout, you're due to launch in Europe later this month. And then you've noted in the press release that you will be looking to, uh, to get U.S. approval, emergency use authorization. Can you give us any insight into the timing of that U.S. approval and when you could launch in the States? Yeah. So we will uh, launch, uh, as you mentioned, in all countries that are accepting CE mark. We also believe that this tool is specifically helpful also for countries that um, do not have a testing infrastructure at all. So this is also where we say we, we want to help uh, specifically also those countries. And of course, we also want to support in the U.S. And as soon as we can, we will apply uh, for the emergency use authorization. And then, of course, it's up to the FDA on how long uh, it takes to get this authorization. Thomas, there is so much anticipation around these rapid tests. We have been, we public health experts have long been waiting a solution like this that can reveal uh, results within 15 minutes. How do you see these tests being used? We're looking at 40 million tests per month initially, and then I know you have plans to ramp up that capacity. But how exactly will they be implemented in, to aid the diagnostic process? Yeah. So, you know, if you compare, uh, you know, antigen testing with PCR testing, PCR testing, you actually detect the genetic material of the virus, which is the RNA. Here you detect the protein. So from a bio biology perspective, you will never get to the same accuracy as you get with PCR, uh, with antigen uh, tests. However, you can scale faster and you can also... Um, uh, reach areas that don't have uh, testing infrastructure. And so what we see is that this test specifically will be used to also find those patients that have a higher viral load, and those are also um, the ones that are more infectious, you know, super spreaders, et cetera. So with that, you can really uh, contain the amount of spread in society because you specifically target those, those groups. And Thomas, I know that this test doesn't require any special instrument. And at the moment, they are due to be used by healthcare professionals in a healthcare setting. But is there going to be a point in the future where these antigen tests can be used at home and in other settings that could perhaps lend themselves to more widespread use? So in, in terms of ease of use, of course, that's something that uh, is possible with point of care, because as you say, you don't need any instrument. Um, we recommend it's, uh, that it's being done by healthcare professionals because to take the sample, you have to get uh, with a swab to where the virus is located. And the way you take the sample is uh, very critical on how accurate the results uh, are going to be. So that's uh, for us, for, for any other company. I think that uh, it's very important, uh, the role that healthcare professionals still play, because to get uh, the samples taken correctly is extremely important.